Well, this is an almighty mess and it's people, the length and breadth of the UK, who are paying the price of this. You know, I think Liz Truss's early resignation uh, as Prime Minister was probably inevitable the moment she walked into Downing Street. But Liz Truss isn't the problem here. She's the symptom of a much more fundamental problem. You know, a, a broken Tory party, certainly, but also a broken UK political system. Uh, what needs to happen now? Well, on a UK level, there must be a general election. It is a democratic necessity. The idea that the Tories can unite behind a prime minister now, uh, any prime minister, let alone one that is in the public interest, I think is for the birds. Uh, but fundamentally, uh, the UK now needs to have a democratic choice uh, over its next prime minister. There's even ludicrous suggestions this afternoon that Boris Johnson is going to try to make a comeback. Uh, so that's what, what needs to happen immediately. Of course, for Scotland, that doesn't really solve the fundamental problem because Scotland's votes don't determine the outcome of UK general elections. So as long as we're part of this Westminster system, we're always going to be vulnerable to getting prime ministers we don't vote for implementing policies that we don't support and do real damage to the country. For Scotland, the only way we get prime ministers and governments that the greater number of us vote for is to be independent. And I think the democratic case for independence is growing literally with every hour that passes.